everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to be doing another book review for you guys. So today I'm going to be reviewing The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown. Okay, so I'm so excited to be reviewing this, but before we get into this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. Also, coronavirus is spreading around, so you want to make sure you're staying safe by, of course, washing your hands for around 20 seconds, maintain social distance, six feet minimum, and of course, keep on that mask to be extra safe. And let's get into this book review. So today's book review is going to be a little different. I'm deciding to read the back of this because it includes so much information and it's really easy to understand that way. So yeah, let's start. Do you know what it feels like to be forgotten? On a cold winter night, Iris and her best friend Daniel sneak into the woods to play in the snow. There, Iris makes a perfect snow angel only to uncover the crumbling gravestone of a young girl named Avery Moore. That sounds scary. Soon, strange things start to happen to Iris. She begins having vivid nightmares. She thinks she sees the, the shadow of a girl lurking in the night. And she feels the pull of the abandoned grave calling her back to the woods. So scary. Obsessed with figuring out what's going on, Iris and Daniel start to investigate and discover that the grave is actually a part of an abandoned black symmetry. And they become determined to restore the grave and have proper respect finally paid to Avery and the others buried there. Okay, well, that's a short summary of the book, but now for the last paragraph. But they have summoned a jealous and demanding ghost. God. One who's not satisfied with their plans, one who is tired of being overlooked, and one who wants to be Iris as uh, who wants to be Iris's best friend forever, no matter the cost. So scary, right guys? And of course, like you guys just heard, there's a ghost involved in this in the story. And I'm actually really scared of ghosts. I don't know if it's a true thing or if it's not, but either way, I'm really scared of them. So it's a surprise that I even read the book. Now while purchasing the book, I had a couple of thoughts, like will I like the book or not? But the back is just so interesting, guys. I don't know if you guys found it interesting, but I found it way too interesting. It's like, it's like pulling you into the story. It, you want to turn those nice, fragile pages so that you can find out what's going to happen. And that ghost, um, I don't know if it mentioned this, but yeah, Avery. So Avery Moore is a ghost who is haunting Iris. They're sneaking into the snow, which by they, I mean Iris and of course her uh, best friend Daniel. And they're sneaking into the woods to play in the snow and have all sorts of fun. But the reason why they're sneaking in there is because their parents their parents think there's such things as spirits, and they want their children to be safe. Now, I don't blame them, okay? My parents would probably do the same thing, but it's like they had to go ahead and do that. So they're having all sorts of fun. Iris has made a snow angel, which probably was fun to make, and she made it perfectly wonderful. Enough to uncover a crumbling grave. Hello? So scary. Oh my god. <laughs> And, of course, we have them in this abandoned grave, and she's obsessed. She's obsessed with trying to find out what on earth is happening here. Why is this grave randomly abandoned? I mean, it's called an abandoned grave. Why is it even here? Why does nobody know about it? Who is this Avery Moore person? Like, come on, bro. And that's what she's trying to find out. And you'll see towards the end of the story, they uncover this one random secret and I think it's really amazing the book has an amazing lesson an amazing concept I've never seen a concept of like ghosts because I feel like authors are scared that kids won't be interested in it, in it. and I'm really happy Indian Brown Indian Hill Brown India Hill Brown sorry guys India Hill Brown even thought of this I'm so happy she thought of this because like it's such a pulling concept now that's enough about the concept I think I'm mentioning way too much about that but Avery wants Iris to be her best friend. And that's because Iris can feel left out sometimes and overlooked, just like Avery felt. Now the only problem is, 
Avery doesn't even remember who she was. Avery's a ghost. Avery's a spirit. And she doesn't remember at all who she was. And she needs help finding out. So Daniel and Iris have to uncover this secret. Or else they'll be haunted by this ghost for eternity. So scary. So intense. Will they be able to uncover this secret? Who knows? You guys will have to read the book to find out. So that's all I'm going to mention about the book. Like I said, this is by India Hill Brown, who I managed to finally say her name properly. But yeah, I love the name, I love the concept, I love the book, I love everything about this book. So I give it a big fat 10 out of 10. You guys can get this on Amazon, so I'll link all of this in the description box below. I don't know if Barnes & Nobles has this, but uh, if it does, you guys will see it in the description box below. And of course, um, I'm going to try Google Books to give you guys that new reader. Okay, so that's basically the entire book. It's like, an, it's like a deluxe package being handed right to you guys. This is such a good book. Like I said, 10 out of 10. Go get this right now. Uh, but yeah, that's all the, for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!